So application of timer, let us see application of timer and counter can be go for this detail uh, or the time and whatever there. Applications of timer. Timer uses the frequency of the internal clock and generate the delay. That is the function of timer. Timer is to generate a delay. Okay, the timers are used to measure the specific time interval from one event occur. Then after that, next event occur. In between one event to next event, what is the time gap that can be measured by the timer? Then coming to the counter, counter is a device that stores the number of uh, input number of times a particular event or process occurred to count the number of inputs number of a particular process how many times has been occurred or a particular event how many times has been occurred that is a function of counter counting this is a counting for example if you keep in a parking place how many number of vehicles are uh, uh, a particular day has in? So that can be uh, done automatically with the help of counter. Just count the number of uh, incoming vehicles. Okay. Then many more other applications of the counter, like frequency counter, digital clocks can be used with the help of counter, analog to digital converter, frequency divider. These are the application of the counter. Then coming to the, the last part of the today class is about the timer, how internet is going to perform the operation. What are there inside of this timer? Let us discuss. The first we need to understand this T mod. Okay, then I will show the T mod. T mod is nothing but timer mode control register. T mod, timer mode. Register mode of the timer here. Uh, we have different modes of the timer mode 0, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3. In mode 0, it will be used as a uh, 13 bit, mode 1, 16 bit, mode 2, uh, 8 bit auto reload, and mode 3 separately 8 bit uh, each timer can be used. Actually, timer is of 16 bit. Timer is a 16 bit. There are two timers, timer 0, timer 1, and also it is used as a counter. It is also used as a counter. So here, this also timer bar counter. Okay. Timer bar counter. Timer bar counter. Here also, timer 1 bar counter. So this part is for Timer 0, T0 or C0 counter. Okay. This part is for timer 1, timer 1 or counter 1. See, your block is having uh, like your timer or counter. This is having timer or counter. The input in the clock is there. Clock. So if it is a timer, if it is a counter, input will be as a events. Okay. So these are different. Either you can use counter or timer here and distinguish this particular, for example, timer zero. Are you going to use? I mean timer or counter zero part. Are you going to use counter or timer? So here. Okay, this is actually keep slash. If it is zero, this bit means it is you are using as a timer. If it is one means they are using as a counter. Okay. Here zero means as a timer, one means as a counter. Then mode zero zero means mode zero as I said you mode zero. Zero one mode one like that. Then gate gate function is the timer start and stop of the timer, either hardware or software. With the help of instructions, we are going to do start or stop. Start or stop. Either by using an instruction or by using a hardware, this will determine gate. So four same bits here for timer zero, counter zero. This set for timer one, counter one. Two are there. As I told you, there are two numbers are there. Okay, this is about the T mod register. 
you are always with the counter timer, gate. Okay. Then coming to another one, register T con register, timer control register, T con register. This timer control register. This is also important in this timer. See, we have this this part is for for interrupts, interrupts. This part is for interrupt, 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 interrupts, interrupt. So here, so it is zero means is a external interrupt zero. So is a yet sticker. If you want to use that sticker, then it will be enabled. Then another external interrupt one. If it is yet sticker, that is one and it should be enabled. So like that for external. INT zero, INT zero, and INT one external interrupt zero and one. Okay, for these two external interrupt to be enabled, I to recognize with the help of this bit. These two bits for INT zero, these two bits for INT one. And here for timer counter overflow, overflow. Right, start and stop, run, TR0, TR0 for timer, 0 to 1, means start timer, working. Then whenever workflow occur, this become 1, timer, workflow, black, for timer, 0. Then for counter, sorry, timer 1, this is for run, start, and this is for workflow, workflow for timer 1. See, everything explained. <laughs> then we have internal two registers are there. This is suppose T H zero T L zero. Then T H one T H one T L one T L one. This is for timer one. This is timer zero. See, it is, this is eight bit and this is eight bit. This is eight bit and this is eight bit. These are storage. Storage value can be stored here. This timer zero and timer one. Okay. The storage register TH zero and TM zero. Total sixteen bit. Sixteen bit value will be stored for the timer zero. Similarly for timer one. So why you need to store? Because depends upon how much delay you need, the corresponding value can be stored so that from that value onwards, the timer start updating the value incrementing for every class first. Once workflow occur, for example, if you stored here, assume that yep, 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 B, assume that FFD you stored in this. Register. So, if you start your timer, if you start your timer, start by applying clock by using this start run, run one, yeah, start. So, clock is applied for every clock pulse. You will increment the value inside this storage into there, this register. So, what will happen? First, you store as FF, FFD you store. Then, after one clock pulse, it becomes FF. Yep, yep, this one number I take and some particular for after one class first. Next, yep, 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 yep. Then next, zero, 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 zero. So here one class first, here one class first. Means after three class first, your content of this becomes zero. Means that is called overflow. Overflow. Once overflow occur, the corresponding the overflow flag become one. This is how it is going to work. Similarly, timer one. Okay. This is how the key panel mode selection. This is how the internal architecture for uh, as a timer, there is an oscillator frequency, then divided by 12, that will be given as an input platforms. You can use either here select either counter or timer. If you are going to use as a timer, this will be used. If you are using as a counter directly, external input will be considered. 
then after that this will set to the timer so that here another one bit for start and stop so for external if you use external interrupt here you can start or stop by controlling external interrupt or you can use the gate one of the i shown in the t mode register gate is there with that of gate you can start and stop here the run bit run gate and run so start with the help of run bit and this can be controlled by using an instruction start and stop of the time clock So if you read this much, I think it will cover your uh, half of it. Okay. So we covered uh, all two and a half minutes. Any doubt, you can ask now. Yes, anybody have any doubt, you can. The previous class, 12 members, now the six members. This is how okay. any doubt? If anything is there, you can ask. Otherwise, I'll close the session. Stop sharing.